Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of adjacent angles. This is standard 4.7e in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 7 off the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have angle XYZ and XYW. They have a combined measure of 180 degrees. So let's make sure we understand what we're looking at here. When we're looking at angle XYZ, we can represent that with that symbol. It looks like a less than symbol. It's actually the symbol for angle. And when we list three letters right here, X, Y, Z, we actually just start at our X, we move to the central letter of Y, and then we go to the third letter of Z. So that's the angle we're looking for, and it's this central letter right there. That is our vertex. So that's where the angle is actually sitting there. But we need to know the first and the last letter, X and Z, since Y is in the middle, we need to know which direction it's going in. It's actually, it's this angle right here. So X, Y, Z, and then if we add, because it says we have a combined measure, so we want to add both of these angles, because those are just going to be numbers. And then we've got X, Y, W. So we've got X, we're going to come back down again to Y, but whoa, we're going to go way over here to W. And then you see Y is our vertex again, but now we've got this big angle right here. So this definitely looks acute. Because remember, acute is anything less than 90. So let's make sure we understand what we're talking about when I talk about acute, right, and obtuse. So right angles are what anchor us. They're 90 degrees. They are a square corner. And so when we're talking about right angles, uh, we're talking perpendicular lines, and typically they have a little square in there. So acute is anything that is less than 90 degrees, so they're a lot smaller. So that X, Y, Z is definitely acute. Obtuse is anything greater than 90, and that is definitely what that X, Y, W is. So we're going to call this obtuse. So we know we have an acute, we know we have an obtuse angle. So that gives us a range of less than 90, greater than 90. And they have a combined measure, they equal 180 degrees. So if you add these two together, if you go from here all the way over here, it just looks like a flat line. 180 degrees is actually a straight angle. So that's a fourth angle that we don't talk about very often because it literally just looks like a straight line, like here's a straight angle. It looks like a straight line with a dot in it. That's a straight angle. But that's 180 degrees. And when we actually have two things that add up to 180 degrees, this is actually has a special term that you will use a lot in older grades, supplementary angles. Those are two angles or two or more angles that add up to 180 degrees. They're supplementary. So we know that X, Y, Z is 28. So they're going to give that to us right there, 28 degrees. So we knew that X, Y, Z because we've got that Y right there. And we know it was the X is the first and Z is the last right there. So we know that's our 28 plus that makes sense because the other one is not acute and 28 is definitely less than 90. So we need to know the measure of X, Y, W. That's going to be this obtuse one in degrees. Well, if it seems pretty simple once we've labeled all this, that means you're doing it right. We know the entire thing is 180, so we're going to take our XYZ 28 degrees plus something that XYW equals 180 degrees. So yeah, we can either add up from 28 or the easiest way to do it would be just to subtract the 180, 28, make sure we regroup, that's a 7, and that is going to be 2, that is going to be 152. The only tricky thing here is we've got our answer document that does not have A, B, C, or D. We're going to have to bubble it in here. So we just have to make sure we put it in the correct spot, in the 100 spot, 152.